everyone and welcome to this Pilates cardio class this morning. We're going to use all our usual Pilates stuff and get the heart rates up a little bit. Uh, we are going to be a little bit on our hands today. So as always, if you feel you need to um, go on your fists or flip your mat over to give yourself a little bit of an extra puff under your wrists, please feel free to do that. Um, but as always, just take care of yourselves and your body and warm up nicely, hopefully, or luckily it's warming up around us, which is very nice. But, but yeah, just take care. So check real good. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start in a standing position today. You can see me. Okie dokie. So coming to find a standing position, just bringing your feet hip distance apart, rolling your shoulders back, feeling any creaks or clicks or stiffnesses from the evening's rest. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, you're going to drop right here to right shoulder. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, come center. Exhale, gentle look up. Don't let the head just roll back. Inhale, center. One more time. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, lift. Keeping ribs gently engaged. Chin to chest down. Inhale, lift. Gentle little lift up. No flinging your head. And center. Roll your shoulders back for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Forward we go for five, for four, for three, for two, and last one. Roll shoulders back, put them where you want them. Heavy shoulder blades, long neck, breath in. We roll down, chin to chest. And release. Inhale, roll up. And stand tall. Exhale, roll down. Moving as deeply as you feel you can, bending knees as much as you need to. And release. One more like this. Chin to chest. Just gently warming up spine. And inhale to respect. Down you come to hold it there. It doesn't matter if your hands don't reach the floor. If you're up here, that's absolutely fine. We're going to bend our knees, make them nice and comfy. Think of tucking your tail, stretching out that lower spine. Let the head go. Let the arms be fluffy and heavy. We're going to circle the right arm back. So we're going to go arm circles back and then let your head drop. Left, let your head drop. Right, let your head drop. If your arms are a bit sore, feel free to use an elbow rather than an arm. And right, let drop. And left, try to open the chest slightly, warming up the spine. Two more, right twist and center. And left twist and center, breath in. Exhale, roll yourself up to stand. Shoulders down, long spine, breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, roll down. Weight into your toes, knees comfortably bent, arms relaxed, head relaxed. We're going to do the reverse. So we're going to bring right arm round and forward and down. And round and forward and down. And round and down. And big circle opening chest. Four more to go. Big circle. Arms. Don't freak too much if you don't know which way you went like me. Just get those arms to move and start to warm and twist that chest. One more. Big circle. Release. Make contact with the floor with the hands. If you need to widen your feet, go for it. No matter how much you need to bend your knees, that's cool. Shoulders down, breath in, and exhale out. Inhale, bend knees, let heels lift. And exhale, straighten legs just as much as you're able to. Bend for two, all the way down. And extend, try to lift tailbone to ceiling. Bend for three. And extend, waking up the backs of the legs. And four, extend, butt up. Last one, five, extend, bum up. 
hang ten there for a moment, releasing arms from the floor wherever your hands need to be. That's cool. Walking your hands forward, so think zombie, or walking your feet forward. You then can bend your knees and place your elbows onto your knees. So, almost crossing your arms, grabbing opposite elbows or arms, and you're going to just nice and um, happy find a little rest for your arms. Make sure you're not sticking your bum all the way up. Tuck your tail slightly, engaging into glutes, and press the shoulders down. So, you're almost um, pressing your elbows into your arms. Don't move the upper body. Keep it there as we inhale, long necks. Exhale, right leg goes back behind you. Find a little lunge. Inhale, come replace back. Left, lunge. And return, right, lunge. So your arm is just floating where that leg is lifted away from it. And return, right, lunge. Shoulders down, center, left, lunge. And center, four more. <sighs> Squeezing those glutes to the back to engage and warm up. Last two, back you go. Center, last one, back you go. Center, staying in this position. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, begin to nod your chin to your chest, releasing, lifting your arms all the way up to come either above head or a little bit in front if that's where you're at. And I'm just going here so you can see me, holding onto arms, forearms, wrists, wherever you get to, but grow nice and tall. Side bends, we go one side. Inhale, center. Over two. Inhale, center. Reaching three, not pushing this movement here, just warming up spine. Four, get as much length as you can. Over five, and return. Last three, and back. Last two, reach spine, and return. Last one, reach, and return. You hold the arms, arms, wrist, forearms, soft at knees, take a breath in, and we're gonna hinge our body over into a little tabletop. Take a breath in, shoulders pull down still. We're going for mini cat and camels. Inhale, exhale, tuck your tail, pull your arms down toward your tum, and then inhale, lift your spine, lift your arms. Round for two, inhale, lift. Round for three, drop chin to chest, and long spine. Round for four, and long. We're going for four more. Really imagine you punch to the tummy here, and then lengthen your spine out. Three more, knees stay bent, and extend, last two. And release, last one. Round spine, extend, hold it there. Tummy in, ribs in, for five, shoulders down, four, lats down, three, two, one, release your body. One more round, we bend knees all the way, heels lift, and extend back of legs. And for two, and extend, lift tailbone up. And three, and extend up. And last one, oh, last two. Let's just do one more for good luck. Bend knees all the way, extend, hang 10 there for a moment. Finding that stretch, maybe swaying your hips side to side, loosening them up. Coming back to center, and then bending knees, taking a nice, slow roll up to come stand. Okay, so hopefully you're feeling that there's a little bit of blood moving around. So, today's class, we're going to be progressing two positions. So, excuse my dog's ball, you know. <laughs> um, it's going to be a plank position, which we are going to um, progress as we go, which you guys are all well aware of. The other position, just to give you a quick heads up so you know what's coming, is going to be a, a little reverse tabletop. So just um, to run through the position here, your arms are going to be back behind you. If you can, you can face your fingertips forward. It is quite tough on the wrists. Otherwise, you're just going to face your fingertips out slightly, so they're just coming off the mat. The position we're going to be working in is this position, so not all the way up, but your bum is sort of halfway there, and from there we're going to be doing quite a lot of arms, legs, etc. In this position, just make sure that you're not sinking down here, that you keep on pressing out of your shoulders here. Don't stress too much about the height of the bum, rather think of the position of the shoulders. Okay, but we'll get there in a sec, but just so you kind of know the form of what's coming, let's come stand at the back of our Take a breath in, shoulders where they need to be. 
Exhale, you roll down to come find our plank. Walking yourself out. One, two, three. Perfect plank. Check you're not pushing back. Take your weight forward and over your hands. Spread fingertips, not chin, long neck, tuck tail slightly. We're going to walk our, hand, our legs out. So right leg first. We tap. Just off mat, return. Left. Inhale. Breathe. Last six. Last five. Tiny types. Four. And three. And two. And one. Return. Lower knees and tuck. We lift. Bum forward. Roll shoulders back. Inhale. We lean back. Hinge. And back. So bum goes forward as body goes back. Return. For three. Arms come forward, palms facing one another, not too narrow on either side of the legs, so they can come down. For five, return. Should feel tummy work, quads work and stretch. Last two, squeeze that bum a little bit more, release. Last one, hold. Tuck your tail forward, lean your body back, shoulders down, holding five. Four, three, two, one. Quick as you can, spin your butt around and set up into that position I showed you now. Feet hip distance apart, hands either facing forward or slightly out. We're gonna lift our bum up. Do a quick sink in shoulders, lift out of shoulders. We're going for 10 tricep dips. So we're aiming for elbows back. We're gonna inhale to bend slightly, make it small, exhale out. And down for two. And down, keep it small. You've got lots of these coming, so don't overcook it too early. Five, and release. Six, remember you're not sinking in your shoulders here, you're just bending your elbows. Eight, last two, nine, last two, 10, bend, hold, four, five, four, three, two, one. On the bum, spin around, straight away, come find your plank. Perfect plank here, take a breath in. We're piking our bum up, finding a downwards dog. Bum goes up. If knees need to be bent, that's absolutely cool. And hinge forward, plank. For two. And four. Bum up, three. And release. Maybe even starting with knees bent might feel a lot comfier for the back. That's fine. Five. Last five. And forward. Last four. Try pressing those bodies through the arms and forward. Last two. Good work. Last one. Push, hold, knee bent wherever you're at for five, four, three, two, one. Lower knees. Well done. That is round number uno. Okay, we're going to do that round one more time and then we get going to disperse it with our other um, little exercises. So let's come stand up. Nice and easy. Take a breath in at the back of your mat. Exhale, we roll down, come find our plank. Now that you know it's coming, you're going to move a little bit faster. Perfect plank, wrists supported, body weight over arms, tummy in, breath in, right leg we go. Left and right and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, five, four, three, Two, one, knees down immediately. Lift, breath in. Wheeling. And back. For two. Rather don't go too far and keep that exact position of your spine. And six. Return. And seven. Return. Keep it small if you need to. Eight. Squeeze your bum even more forward. Nine. Release. And hold for five. Tuck tail more four, three, flatten belly two, and one. Release. Spin your legs around. Set yourself up. We're coming um, up into the bum. Fingertips as forward as you can. Press our shoulders. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. We go. Two and three. Keep it small. Four. No sinking in chest. Five and six. I mean it. Doesn't matter how low you go down. If you're doing this, you'll achieve zero, maybe a sore back. Last four, chin down, eye line forward, two, and one, bend, hold, five, four, three, 
two, one, bum down, spin around, come back into your plank. Breath in, exhale, bum pikes up, and forward for two, and hinge, bum up, and back. Four more, three more, last two, hold the tummy, especially as you come forward, last one, hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, bend knees down. Well done. Okay, so that's our first round, we're going to progress that as we go. Spin onto your back, we're going to get into our glutes, abs, etc. So this little series, which will be interspersing, is a series of pulses. So we're going to come up into a nice pelvic curl. Let's draw arms down, chin down, take a breath in. Exhale, tuck your tail and come up into a nice pelvic curl. Ribs down, bum up, big toes on the back, press them down. Finding a nice comfy position, making sure the head is nice and relaxed. We're going for 10 pulses here with bum up. We go 10, 9, 8, the teeny weeny, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two are live, we're doing 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, watch the shoulders, six, keep them relaxed. Four, three, two, one, lower spine down, interlace hands behind the head. Up you come into chest lift. Do not move your lower spine, just the upper spine. We go for pulses, 10, nine, eight, deep in seven, six, five, four, three, don't drop, just lift. Last 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, three, two, one. Lower down, straight away rolling onto one side, doesn't matter which one. Bend bottom leg, extend top leg, lift your top leg up. Make sure it's on front of you, take it in line with your hip and maybe even slightly back. Little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven. If your leg's too high, it means you're cheating, take your leg back. Three, two, one, next, 10, 10, nine, ribs in, seven, six, shoulders relaxed, four, three, two, and one, as quick as you can, roll on the other side, take a breath in, leg in, ribs in, leg slightly back, pulsing, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, holding daily, 10 more, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lying back on your back, take a nice deep breath in, tuck your tail, last little pulses, bum up for 10, nine, eight, seven, ribs down, six, five, just the pelvis lifts, two, one, last 10, nine, keep them small, make them effective, relax shoulders, four more, three, two, one lower roll down, hug your knees in, rock yourself up. If you can stand up all the way, go for it. Turn yourself around and get ready at the back of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in. Roll yourself down, come find your plank. Walking yourself out. If you're feeling not so strong today or if you have an injury, you're going to do our step outs as you've done. Otherwise, we're going to do little jumps. Okay. So bringing your, your weight over your um, arms, soften your knees just slightly off the hook so you've got a little bit of a recoil. Take a breath in. We're going to do 10 out and in both legs at the same time. We go 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower knees and tuck. We go 10, and back, and 9, and back. Seven, and back, and six, and five, good work, four, you might need a little bit less, going at the speed, that's fine, three, last two, last one, release, thumb around, spin your legs, up you come, in your back, shoulders roll back, this time, we're going to reach our arms up after a tricep dip, so we go, bend, stretch, right arm up. Bend, stretch, left arm up. Bend, stretch, right. Bend, stretch, left. Bend, stretch, right. Bend, stretch, left. Let's breathe. Shh. 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 
keeping bends small if you need to. Last three. Sorry, now last three. And reach, last two. Bend and reach. Last one. Release. Back down. Spin legs around into your plank. Take a nice deep breath. This time as you hinge back, you're going to lift your right leg and then alternate into your left. So we take bum back, lift right, and plank. Lift left, and plank. Bum up still, but now leg lift, forward. And forward. And forward all the way. Don't just be lowering your legs, you need that weight to bring you forward. Lift, and forward. Four more, shoulders still down the back. Three more, return, last two, forward you go, last one, return, perfect plank, walk yourself back, roll yourself up, take a nice deep breath in, and roll yourself down, and turn yourself around, sorry, I couldn't have walked you up and down, to come lie onto your back. Okay, one leg, uh, so, excuse me, bringing your feet down for the moment, Arms relaxed, head down, take a nice deep breath in, tuck your tail, roll yourself up into our glutes. Okay, ribs down, tummy up, we're gonna float right leg up. Little pulses, 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze both arms, two, one. Next, 10, nine, eight, seven, breathe. Three, Two, one, swap legs, pulse 10, nine, eight, keep it small, seven. Think of tucking your pelvis up. Three, two, last 10, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one, lower legs, roll spine down, float one, then the other leg, squeeze knees, interlace hands, lifting up into chest lift, little pulses, 10. Nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, 10. So I don't want to drop, you only lifting. Draw spine down. Last three, two, one. Release down, lower your legs. Rolling onto side, both legs extended. Take a breath in, lift both legs. Ribs in, tummy in, tuck your tail slightly forward. Pulses, 10. Nine, eight. If you find the work in your back, tuck your tail a little bit more. You want to feel in your sides and your button. Two, one, next, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Tummy hard like a rock. Four more, three more, two more, one more. Straight away, roll yourself nice and easily over to the other side. Tuck tail slightly, lift legs, whole belly ribs. We pulse ten. Nine. Top shoulders down and relaxed. Don't be putting too much pressure on that arm. Use the legs and tummy and torso to help you. Two, one, last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, back you come onto your back. Tuck your tail, roll your spine up. Perfect tabletop, shoulders relaxed. Last pulses, we're going to get onto our toes. Pulsing 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower heels, roll your spine down, hug knees into your chest. Roll yourself up all the way to sit, stand if you can. Otherwise, come make yourself into or make yourself into standing. Come into standing, however you need to. Okay, let's keep moving. Shoulders roll back. Take a nice deep breath in. Roll yourself down. Finding your plank. Very nice. Okay, we're repeating what we just did. This time we're going for twenty hops in and out. Tuck your tail in. Draw your weight over your arms. Soft the knees slightly. Breath in. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, next, ten. We go. Ten. Keep your bum down. Tuck your tail. Seven, six, five, four, long next. Three, two, 
One, knees down and tuck, breath in. You can tuck your toes here if you feel it's more comfy. Tuck, breath, uh, baby forward, we go. Let's keep arms there. Two, and three, return. Getting that stretch in the feet, two, and six. Tuck your tail forward even more. Feel that work in the quads. And three, last two, one, last 10. Bump forward even more. Tuck your pubic bone up to your nose. And three. And six. Good work. Five. Oh, sorry. Eight. Last two. And last one. Quick six. Turn yourself around. Set yourself up into your tricep position. Selecting your hand position, take a breath in and lift your body up. Hey, pressing our shoulders. This time we're not going to reach our arm up. We're going to reach our leg up between our little tricep dips. So it's going to look like this. Little tricep, lift. Little tricep, lift. Let's start. This is number two. We lift. Three and lift. Four and lift. Four, five. Keep those triceps up small. Try get elbows back. And seven. And lift. And eight. And lift. And nine. And lift. And ten. And lift. Quicker ones. We go. Bend. And lift. Two. And lift. Three. And lift. Four. And lift. Five. And lift. Six. Almost there. Seven. And lift. Eight. And lift. Last two. Last one, good work, lower, spin yourself around and find your leg. Okay, set yourself up, arms a little wide if you feel you need to for some space. Find perfect plank, take your body over your arms. Okay, take a breath in here. Exhale, we're gonna take ourselves into pike. We're gonna try and reach right hand to outer portion of left uh, ankle. So it's gonna look like this. And return. If you need to bend your knees to get there, that's fine. And return. And tap, and clack, and tap. Tuck your tail, don't watch your back moving forward. Tap, return, and tap, return. Five more, tap, return. Try to twist that torso slightly between the arm there. And three more, and plank. Last two, and plank. Last one, hold that plank. Lower your knees, spin yourself around, and lie down onto the back. Okay, setting yourself up into a nice pelvic curl position, taking a nice deep breath in, tucking your tail, lifting your spine, setting yourself up perfectly here, check neck and shoulders, no tension, relaxed. This time, extended leg goes up to the spine. You can flex your foot if that is comfy for you. Make sure here that you're not dropping your spine here. Tuck it, scoop it even more. We lift our right leg up. If it's extended, great. If it's not, that's cool. We go for a little pulse. Just ten. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Next ten. Ten. Nine. Don't drop. Just lift. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze around even more. Two. One, exchange legs immediately, tuck the tail a little bit more, little pulses, 10. Seven, six, keep them small and effective. Four, three, two, one, next 10, relax the shoulders, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower leg, roll spine down, both legs 90, holding belly. Extend legs as far up as you can manage. If they need to be bent, cool, cool, cool. Hands interlaced behind head. We're lifting up into our chest lift. Take a breath in, we pulse. 10, nine, imagine someone lifting your sternum towards your shins. Three, two, one, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. Lower your legs down, bending them, popping onto mat, turning yourself onto your side, this time bending both your legs. 
Using this top hand, pressing into the mat, giving yourself a bit of assistance. You're going to float both legs off. You might tip back onto your back bum. That's a little bit, that's absolutely fine. We're going to pulse these legs up. 10, 9, 8, 7. You should feel a work in your tummy and your obliques. Tuck your tail. Don't let the back hurt. 3, 2. Think knees up. Last 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, release. I'm spinning around so you can see me if you need to. To the other side, both legs bent, top arm supporting you, ribs in, tummy tucks, float both legs up, rocking slightly back. Little pulses, knees up, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, shoulder down, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Roll onto your back. Immediately come lift your spine up into a pelvic curl. Right onto those tippy toes. Tuck your tail. Breath in. Last pulses. Bum ten. Really squeeze here. Eight, seven. Scoop. Six, five. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Three, two. Press those big toes down. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, keep it small. Two, one, lower, roll yourself down. Hug your knees, roll yourself up, up your stand, and come to the back of your mats. Okay, we're getting there. Take a nice deep breath in there. And exhale to let your head settle. Roll your shoulders back. Take a breath in. We roll down to plank. Walking yourself out. Perfect plank. Okay, last challenge here in terms of progression of this guy is we're going to add a, um, a, a walk down onto our elbow. So what it's going to look like, have a look at knee pick sticks, is we're going to do jump out, jump in, elbow, elbow, press up, press up. Okay, if this is too much for you, just keep jumping out and in, no stress. We're going to do 10 if you're going to add this. If you're just jumping out and in, go for 20. Okay, so spread your fingertips nice and wide, and weight into each and every little fingertip, think Spider-Man grip, perfect plank, tuck your tail, Nod your chin, off we go. Jump out, jump in, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Two, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Keep alternating your elbows, hand, hand. Four, down, down, up, up. Five, down, down, halfway there. Six, down, down, up, up. Seven, down, down, up, up. Eight, almost there. Down, last two. Keep breathing, last one. Down, down, up, up. Well done. Drop yourself down. Roll yourself up. Reach your arms forward. Shoulders plug down. Toes tucked. Breathing. We lean. Return. This time we lift arms and lower. Keep tucking the tail forward. If you're keeping the arms down, that's fine, but don't stick your bum out. So you don't want to do that. You want to do this. Three more, last two, release, last one, next 10. If you want to keep your arms there, go for it. Two, return. Your arms aren't flinging back here. They're just in front of you. You should be able to see your fingertips. Five more, and four more, almost there. Last two, last one. Very nice, return. Spin yourself around, set yourself up. Okay, for this round, we're gonna be moving the arm and the legs simultaneously. So what it's gonna look like is we're gonna do a little, a little tricep dip. We're gonna tap toe with opposite hand and return and we'll alternate that. Okay, last push guide, we're getting there. Roll shoulders back, I'm hip talking myself as well. Lift your bum up, take a breath in, press out of those shoulders even more. Inhale, we're going to drop down. Exhale, let's right hand to left foot. And back. Tricep, alternate. And three, alternate. And four, and tap. And five, you don't reach first, that's fine. Go for me or shin. And tap. And seven. And tap. Oopsie. Seven now. And tap. And eight. And tap. And nine. And tap. And ten. I think we can do six more. Bend, tap, last push, 
five, and tap, and four, fall over if you need to, three, and tap, last two, and tap, last one, I promise. Well done. Spin yourself around, come find your perfect lap. Okay, our last round here. We're gonna try and add the arm and the leg together. So what it's gonna look like is we're gonna to try to take right hand to um, our outer portion of left leg as we did previously. As you come back into your plank, you're gonna lift your right leg. Take yourself back, left hand to outer portion right leg. As you come back into plank, lift left. Okay, so let's all start together. Tuck your tail, press out of the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, we go and lift right, left arm back, lift left, right arm back, lift right, left arm back, hold the belly, left, right arm back, lift right leg, left arm back, lift left leg, right, almost there, lift, and left, left, lift, four more, tap, and lift, last three, tap, and lift, last two, dig deep, press those shoulders out, go, go, go. Uh, last one, everyone find your plank, spread your fingers, hold it there, five, four, three, two, one, low knees, widen your knees, pluck yourself into a nice, well-deserved rest position. Where you are, just circle your wrists, move them up and down, wiggle your fingers. We're staying here for three nice deep breaths. As you inhale and exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. And going for one more and exhale out. Staying where you are, coming up slightly just to thread right arm and the left, coming into a nice easy stretching twist. Bend this left arm, plant it onto the mat. Pop your elbow up to the ceiling and press into that hand to give you a little bit more um, twist and extension into your spine. You should feel that you're really twisting around where the ribcage is for two breaths. And twist. Last breath. And twist. Changing to the other side. Right arm reach forward, left arm three down, or three through, sorry. Right hand onto mat, right elbow popped up. Press into arm, twist your torso. Two more breaths, inhale and release. And last one, and press and twist. So you come back to center, give your arms one more reach forward and then nod your chin to roll yourself up. Sitting onto your knees either wide or together, if you feel you need a cushy and knees between your heels and your bum, go for it. Taking a breath in. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, center, left ear. Inhale, chin to chest. Inhale, little lift and chest and head. One more round, right ear stretch. Center, left ear stretch. Center, chin down to chest. Release, last one, lift. We're gonna come into the position, hold it there, so right ear to right shoulder. Roll your left shoulder back. If you want to put your right, Fingertips onto the outer, outer side of your head. Give yourself a little extra. Go for it. Don't tug. Just rest. One more breath. Exhale. Moving over to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder. If you want to use a little bit of extra oomph, then roll that right shoulder back and down. One more breath. And release. Come back to center. Chin to chest down. Staying there. If you want to interlace hands behind your head, don't tug neck. Just find that stretch. Might be a bit neural. One more breath and release. Slowly lift your head, circle your arms around, interlacing, squeezing them, extending your chest up. Don't let your head just loll back. Think about the head extending just because the chest is extending. One more breath and release. Slowly plant your hands, tuck your toes, walk yourself back so you're hanging over your legs. Grabbing onto now again, opposite elbows, forearms, wrists, wherever you get to. Bend your knees nice and deeply. Weight more so in your toes, then you're pouring your body forward, letting your head just flop forward in between those arms. Taking a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, begin to roll up, reaching your arms up above your head as we did previously. 
not flinging back, arch to move back here, but bringing them in front of you so you're in that nice stacked position. We're going for side bends. This time, really go for it. We go. Inhale, return. Up and over. Two. Inhale, back. Over three. Keep alternating sides for four. Last four. Keep tail tucked so you're almost just moving between two sheets of glass and reach. Last two. And side bend, return. Last one. Side bend, return. Take a nice deep inhale, reach your arms up. Give yourself the biggest circle you can. Rolling chin to chest down for one last roll down. Softening knees. Planting hands, bending knees as much as you need to. Last little round. You're going to go for 10 of these. So you're going to bend your bum down to mat and extend all the way. Hopefully you're going a little bit more give than before. Two. Extend tailbone to seat. And three. Extend bum up. And for four. Bum to ceiling. And then five. We've got five more. If you need to keep them small, your knees are hurting, that's fine. Extend. Last four. And extend. Three, aiming for nice straight legs. And last two. Extend. Last one. Extend. Hold it there for a moment. Wait forward. Don't let your weight fall back in your heels. Soften your knees. We're taking a slow roll up. In five, go slower, four, three. If you want to close your eyes as you reach the top, two, find your balance, one. Rolling the shoulders back, bigger circle you can give me, letting the shoulders draw down the back. For two more breaths, inhale, fold your lungs. Two, 